We are, Gracie didn't even try and be happy with this. Wow, what if I'm not worth the, the time and breath that you're saving? Um, I'm someone that doesn't deserve to be in a relationship with people. Begging, pleading, screaming, crying, she's throwing. Hi guys, welcome to my review lifestyle and academia channel. My name is Agape. Like the love if you're new here, then hi, welcome. This is a safe space, but if you're not, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be reacting to Gracie Abrams' debut album called Good Riddance. I'm so excited for this body of work. You know what? To be fair, my album wall is a bit outdated because this is what it feels like should be on this wall. So Grace, if you're watching, I'm sorry. And Grace, if you're also watching, I need tickets to your show. They sold out really quickly. <laughs> but no, I've been a fan of Grace Abrams for um, not a very long time, to be fair. The first time I listened to her music was when I reacted to This Is What It Feels Like and I was obsessed with the album. Such, such, such a great body of work. And then I was able to see Gracie live. This is a funny thing. So I had listened to the album. I loved it. This is giving coming of age, this is giving I can picture a scene <laughs> Meet you at the right time This is what it feels like And then I was like, you know what? I really, really like her I kept on listening to her a bit more And I managed to get tickets to her show Which shows you how like small she was Like this time last year because I got tickets like a couple of weeks after, I didn't know she was going on tour and then I just like, I saw something saying that she was going, then I just googled, boom, got a ticket. Tell me why I tried getting tickets to her show this year, like literally looked on Ticketmaster, like wait, pre-sale, everything, gone. She's gone big, but anyways, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for her debut. Um, one of my criticisms of This Is What It Feels Like was that it was a really long album a really long EP and I was like Gracie just give it just make it an album so I'm really glad that she delivered she's giving us an album um, and so yeah without any further ado let's listen to this body of work I need to find it no <laughs> um, I should say I was really excited when I heard a couple of songs um, like some of my favorite songs m one of my favorite songs on this is what it feels like was Rockland and Rockland Rockland but like I loved the production that Aaron Dessner did on that album and the fact that and then I even said oh my goodness like he needs to produce more of a work and then boom a whole album so yeah I'm really looking forward to it I'm gonna shut up now let's watch let's listen the first song is called Best Come to life, I'm already this is Gracie in her truest form um, when I could come to life, I didn't. Okay. I love a good little album drop moment. You felt hard, I thought good riddance. Also guys, if you didn't know, I like to pause a lot. If you don't like that, then listen to the album. But this is a lyric analysis video for a reason. Um, I never was the best to you. I never was the best to you. Um, something that I really liked about Gracie is her ability to take ownership of her own culpability. I think when you listen to artists who are singer-songwriters, I think the most honest thing that they can do is admit to their faults because a lot of the times when we hear from singer songwriters it's obviously somebody did them wrong da -da -da, da -da -da. but I think it's so it's so much more vulnerable when they can admit like dang like I don't think I did you justice like I don't think I 
behaved in the way that I should have or loved you the way I should have or prioritized you the way I should have. So when I do that, I'm always like, wow, kudos, because it's super vulnerable, it's super honest. You didn't have to, but you did. So I like you even more. Is very much you were sunshine, I was midnight rain. <laughs> I don't want to do, I don't want to compare it to Taylor Swift. Um, but because Aaron produced this album, it's like even more. But no, like the sentiments of like, yeah, I really like the song. You're the worst of my crimes. You're the worst of my crimes. Like the way I did you dirty, no. Like, you know what? I, 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 I put my hands up. She said we aren't even we Gracie didn't even try and be happy with this. Wow, what if I'm not worth the the time and breath that you're saving? Um Part of me wants to walk away until you really listen. This she's channel she's channeling um um um, drag you right down to the bottom cuz I'm no good you could do better it's it's that she's like bruh bruh you actually need to leave me like I'm actually like I'm I'm someone that doesn't deserve to be in a relationship with people hmm. yeah. so this is someone who She's broken up with, and she's like, you know what, like, I want you back, but this thing, it's not going anywhere. So I need you to help me by you moving on with your life. Ooh! Everywhere that they go, they see you and you're in the walls and in the pictures and in the bed and in the in the kitchen and in the drrr, everything. Even being at home is a... Next song is called Fool Machine. She's doing crazy things with her. Oh, she's just capitalizing the first letter, but everything else she isn't. You know what? I, I trust her, man. She, this album literally has Aaron written all over it. She said, I'm a roller coaster and you're a dead end street. I admit it, like I need you bad. This is, she really is in the crux of this. She's infatuated, she's obsessed, she is like, she's trying hard. Not to be like all, but she she can't help it, you know. There's like a real somberness to the song that it seems like the na the narrator is like overcompensating for something because like we don't hear a response. I know it's like from their perspective, but like we don't hear a response. Like, and like a certainty that the other person feels the same way. So it's like, I'm, I'm codependent and I'm trying not to be, I'm better when you're next to me. Like, even if you don't mean it, even if you like say like, even if you're joking, like, I'll follow you wherever you want to go. Like, so there's that somberness that comes with that, like, that proclamation of just like, I, I need you. I, because like, you actually don't know what the other person feels. 
Um, so like this song, like it's this happy but it's sad and it's emotional. Oh, that's so good. I had a life right before you and now it's burning and it's like I everything that was and and used to be like that's no more like you came and you totally switched things up and I can't go back to where it was oh wait I was just thinking about that song there was a part that I didn't mention about like I should probably stop instead of forcing a breakthrough that's the sadness that comes with like she is doing too much. Like you can see, she's all she's overcompensating just in the way that she's describing how she feels. You know, like she knows is a, and that's why she's begging, pleading. Like she knows that this person doesn't feel the way that she, about her the way that she does about them. Where do we go now? Is the next song. The thing is, I try to not listen to any of like the singles, except for one um, before. It came out so I didn't listen to the song and Emily I only listened to another song that's coming up soon but yeah not really <laughs> this this situation sounds like a mess oh wow like when you first grabbed me there was electricity there was but it was something was off something something didn't quite work and I had to fake being with you, being in love with you, being putting up a smile, doing all of that. When you kissed, kissed you back, I wasn't, I was putting up a show. I was. Shout out Alessio Cara. What if my best days with the days I left behind? What if the rest stays the same for my whole life? I'm wanting with my eyes closed till it goes. You live and then you die. But the hardest pill to swallow. I mean, guys, I'm telling you, the previous song was like, I'll choose you, I'll choose you, I'll choose you. And then the other person is choosing her, but she's not choosing them. And does that make sense? Oh, it's this one. Now I'm half of myself knowing that you, you're the best in it. No, I love, oh, I heard this from TikTok. It's too late, man. And that's the realization that you have at the end. Like, damn, like, I did that. I did that ish. I should hate you. Oh, this sounds interesting. Oh, lost like I spiraled alone in the kitchen. Okay. No, the way hey, this could be like a friend, a partner, a, a an everything. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be platonic. I mean, like romantic. Oh, pull the knife out my back. It was right where you left it. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, no, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh. That's what I'm saying. It could literally be a friend. It could be anybody. It's giving... I shouldn't have said my teeth ricochet, but it's giving... It's giving that, like, that, that, that. You know, you feel like you're, you're, you're over... You've... You've become a better person. You're like, you know what? You've done so... You've done me so dirty. Like, the... The energy I should feel towards you should be so negative, but like it should really be because of what you've done. This is a bridge. This is a bridge. She's like, I'm actually, I'm putting myself at risk. I'm putting myself at danger. I'm talking to the furniture as if you're there. Like I'm having a conversation with the furniture, dealing with all of this stuff. Like I'm actually losing myself, you know, I'm going insane. It reminds me of the song. I don't know if this is so much happening in the song, but um, um, 
Um, I don't want to cry, but but you're doing it right and you don't even know it. Um, so, after all this time, so we know that this has been something that's passed and she's reminiscing on what has happened, you know, but like, even till then, like, you're like, damn, like, for the amount of, like, I, don't, I can't even speak for what has happened. They've treated me like this badly, like... I should still harbor those feelings of resentment towards them, but now, like, who knows? Like, she doesn't check up on them, which is good, but it's like, you're probably doing, like, you're probably doing good, like. It's the, I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. It's the, when a heart breaks, no, we don't break even. It's that idea that, like, after you separate with someone, or after you're not their friend, or their partner, or their lover, that even after they've hurt you, they can still move on, and you're left to deal with whatever the, the remaining pieces are. That was good. I was gonna say I feel like I had the least to say about that song because I'm still trying to understand it and that's also the funny thing about album reactions is that like I have to feel like I try and grasp or understand the song from the first listen which is art so that's never gonna be the case um, especially with Gracie's music it always works its way up to my heart um, but so far this album has been like the most like mature body of work um, and it's it's even more introspective. I feel like the intimacy and the bond that her and Aaron has allows her to just get more vulnerable and get more vulnerable and get more vulnerable. And there's a lot that she's had to work with or work through with this album. Like it's heavy stuff. Um, so I'm really glad that she feels like she's at this point where she can just bear it all, you know. Next song is called Amelie. Again, I haven't listened to this song. handing you my whole life that's what a what a what a thought to have about someone that you've just met um that you've just uh, literally spent not that many moments with feeling like whoa like i think you're my everything so where did you go the next song is Okay, so I know difficult, I love difficult, um, but like being able to actually just look at the lyrics. Um, this is also a song that took me a while to get into. Um, I heard it a couple of times and then by like a few listens and I was like, whoa. Um, but let's let the song play and we can discuss. Even in this one song when she's like, I feel, um, if I move out of my parents' home, I'll feel like my parents slipping. Um, it talks about like adulthood and growing up and like being in your late mid mid to late twenties now. Gracie's gonna be I think she's twenty four, twenty twenty five, like mid to late twenties. So stepping up into adulthood, but also realizing that like the things that stimulated you and like intrigued you before just not, and even people that you thought were gonna be in your life for good are just they just aren't, and also dealing with mental health issues and she refers to, she's really open and vulnerable about her mental health or like the things that she thinks and how that also plays a part in how you maintain your friendships and relationships and it's just a very like vulnerable open song <laughs>
Love someone that goes to therapy babe but yeah again grace is very honest about um just the thing that she goes through and the vulnerability that she has and this is such a this song is such a highlight to me um and it's a little bit more up tempo we upbeat compared to the other songs so um yeah so sad though like it's hello hello sad hello This next song is called This Is What Drugs Are For. Oh, turn the lights off on the come down. I'm looking at the lyrics, y'all. That's crazy. Nostalgia is everybody's worst enemy like it's everybody's pop it's everybody's bad guy she's saying like i i still like i still get choked up when i um see your old house right by your old place and this is why i'm that's so sad that's so sad she's like look once you left i'm back to square one Stand up, sister, stand up, stand up, stand up. She's begging, pleading, screaming, crying, she's throwing up, asking this girl, like, please, this person, please, 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 pick me, pick me, choose me, love. Sometimes you just have to respect yourself a bit more. Crazy, stand up. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's good, that's good. This sounds like, this sounds like mature, this sounds like coming out on the other side. This sounds like growth, this sounds like you could leave me and I, you know what, it's just another day, just another night, you know. Again, the, the other one, she's like, this is why we trade the drugs, like, for these experiences because I want you back and then you get the other side of like, whoa, you're the reason why I take these two, two, because you're just so wow. That's such a wild thing to say, like if I meet you today. Bruv, I would, I wouldn't be with you today and then you could go and I'd bet I'd recover with the night, finish hurting each other. Mm. That's so, that's so, that is crazy. She says, my imaginary friends, the people I talk to, my, my, they are terrified. They're terrified of the kind of person that you are. Like you give the imaginary friends nightmares, like because of all the bad experiences that she's had and all the the like you know when you even like the friends that you talk to and like the bad experiences that you have with other people, they don't even dislike you. They're they're scared of the kind of person that you are because you're so
introspective Queenie. Um, you know, that's kind of crazy that like her debut ends with a, a bit of certainty, with a bit of, you know what, this is like who I am, but I'm I'm getting there, I'm working towards that, I'm I'm slowly recognizing the person, I'm getting comfortable with her, I'm reminiscing about home. Um I didn't even want to talk too much because that song just felt so like weighted. I didn't want to pause it. I just wanted to let it go through. Um, yeah, there's this, not even on the, not the cusp of adulthood, just like that part in adulthood where it's like you're, you feel like you know yourself fully, but you also don't and you miss your family and you miss your dog and you think about the school bus and the, and the journeys and the, the like all the songs previously to this album of like guilt and shame and love and loss and selfishness and forgiving people and anger and and just confusion that is what this body of work felt like her at her most vulnerable um and it was beautiful and i can't wait to listen to it more i think gracie and aaron are such a great team together um and I love what Gracie was able to like tap into with this album. I think she did such a phenomenal job. Um, I always talk about my favorite. Sorry, without getting emotional. This is definitely right now is gonna be one of them. Um, and I love how it like grounds the album. Um, and then also I should hate you and full machine and best. Um, and also this is what drugs are for i said my top one but look at all those that i picked um but no guys thank you so much for watching tell me what your favorite song was if there was a song that i didn't go into too much detail or you thought like it's something totally different please share please tell me i'd love to hear what you think um and yeah guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video